Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Paolo Torre. Thank you very much, Mr. President, Naida Kajan Paksa, President of the Republic of Sri Lanka. Excellencies, distinguished honorable ministers, members of parliament, distinguished chairman Lalit Gulanunga, chairman of the regulatory authority, excellencies, chairman, members of the commission, ladies and gentlemen. It is a tremendous pleasure for me and an honor to be here today with you this morning for the opening ceremony of the 2012 Global Symposium of Regulators and Global Regulators and Industry Dialogue, the Greek. This is my second visit here in this beautiful country. Mr. President, I was here in 2009, just a few months before the peace, and Mr. President, coming back here three years later, I can see the peace leader in this beautiful country. A country that I fell in love with, just like our fellow countryman and leader, Arthur Sikler. When I first came here, I realized as a satellite engineer, why Arthur Sikar fell in love with this country and chose this country as his, not only his living place, but as a place for his eternal life. I would like to congratulate Mr. President and the government and leadership of this country for the achievement made in this country in just such a short time, you can see that the population is now indeed reaping the benefits of the peace and the government is also focusing on economy and development and happiness for its people. <coughs> Mr. President, the Global Symposium of Regulators has historically been a fruitful and positive occasion bringing together the key stakeholders involved in ICT policy making and regulation. And I am sure that this year's edition will continue this trend. I am happy that over time it has evolved to bring industry leaders into a constructive dialogue with the regulators and I salute the contribution of private sector in this year's GRID, the Global Regulators and Industry Dialogue. This year, on the eve of the GSR, in addition to the regulatory associations meeting, we have held for the first time ever a meeting of the chief regulatory officers of the IGUD sector members. And I'm very happy to have learned that their contribution to the agenda of our activities in the regulatory domain has been most valuable. With this experience, we have been able to mix the contributions of the lawmakers, the players, and the referees in a single environment. The theme of this year's GSR, Why Regulate in a Network Society, seems particularly appropriate to me, as I expect the discussions here in Sri Lanka this week to cover some of the same grounds that will be covered at the World Conference on International Telecommunication Regulations, Wicked 12. Wicked 12 will be, making, will be taking place in Dubai in early December to look at ways of revising the International Telecommunication Regulations, the ITRs. That, of course, is not the purpose of the GSR, we do not want to be diverted here by discussions of 
what should or should not go into the revised uh, ITRs. There will be plenty of time for that in other forums over the next two months, and indeed via the wiki open consultation on the IT website, to which I invite you all to contribute to. Wiki 2012 has already attracted an enormous amount of interest and major progress, but of course not always in the right for the right reason. So I would like to take this opportunity to summarize the key issues and to dispel some of the persistent myths that are surrounding the conference. Contrary to, to some of the sensationalist claims we've heard lately, Wicked is definitely not about taking control of the internet or restricting people's freedom of expression and freedom of speech. The same people who do not want Wicked to discuss these matters are the ones bringing it again and again. My call to them, again, is let's go back to the traditional IT based on consensus, cooperation, and innovation. There are other UN agencies dealing with freedom of speech, privacy and freedom of expression. Those are organizations that are doing their job very well. We shall let them continue so to do so. And, 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 and I see you will get back to the real issues which are about accelerating the real deployment of broadband to assure that more and more people are connected and given a voice online, and that the transformative power of broadband is accessible to all the world's people. Here in Sri Lanka, I've seen a massive change of connectivity for the people here. They have succeeded in meeting the challenges of the mobile revolution. Our next challenge is the broadband revolution. And through Wiki 12, we want to make sure that we meet that goal. Every citizen of this planet has the right to access information, has the right to use information, has the right to create information, and last but not least, every citizen of this planet has the right to share information. We are today in the information society. Our ultimate goal is a knowledge society that we're trying to build together. So, the goal of the United, the United Nations and the International Telecommunications Union is about putting ICTs in the hands of the world's people. It's about promoting affordable and equitable access to all, including people with disabilities, the continued development of broadband, including an increased focus on energy efficiency and combating climate change, continuing investment in network services and applications, and perhaps most importantly, in this very fast moving world, continuing to promote a harmonious and conducive international environment that drives innovation. And all these are what the week 12 will be about. Reducing the cost of international mobile roaming how to prevent fraud, misuse, and uh, misuse of telephone numbering systems, and the empowering of consumers. Dear participants, there is a busy and exciting schedule of events with topical and important issues on the agenda, and I'm pleased to be able to participate through these three days together with all of the regulatory authorities in the world. His Excellency, again, the last time I came here, 2009, just before the end of the war, I'm pleased to be here in a unified country that is putting the economy for its people first. And this year's GSR is taking place here in recognition of the very sound regulatory environment that has been put in place in this country, allowing competition, growth, and innovation. You have a large population of young people who can bring their contribution in this ICT world in terms of innovation. This is an opportunity for me to thank 
again our host, the TRC, for wonderful facilities and the top class hospitality and support they have provided to ensure that this event is once again a big success. I was very much uh, touched by the opening of an arrival here, the traditional welcome of this beautiful country. This whole environment that we are in today will be conducive to more debate, more friction of brains, and more fruitful interaction. This will enable us to come to real good and positive conclusions. The positive spirit that all of you are bringing together, combined with the hospitality of this beautiful country, will enable us to make sure that through information and communication technology, this world, again, is a better place. I wish you a very successful symposium here in Baltimore. I thank you very much.